Good morning everyone. Poppy and me stayed at Newgale campsite last night. Um, we needed to empty the toilet. Uh, it was getting a bit full and I wanted to check my water situation. Turns out I got plenty of water left. I've only used a quarter or a third of a tank. But yeah, it was £10 for the night. Um, so it was, well, I mean, you can't argue with that price. I emptied my waste, emptied my grey waste. Um, there was a pizza, like shed thing, you know, like wood fired pizza type thing um, on the site as well. Didn't didn't eat it. Um, we uh, we cooked in the van. So we're just leaving Newgale now, and I'm heading. I'm going to follow the coast road around. So it's going to take me through Solva, Saint David, Aberaidi. Uh There's going to be a few different places that we're heading through today. Uh, I don't know whether to just try and go to Aberaidi Beach and go to the Blue Lagoon again. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, it was a bit of a trek last time. It's not too far, but the car park was full down the bottom. I had to park further up the top. But we'll see where we end up. I'm just driving around for now, as usual, with no real direction. So I'll catch up with you when I've got more to say and more to show you. I'll see you in a little bit. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights It turns out I've driven past uh, St. David's and Aberaidi. I've gone past all the places I mentioned earlier. I'm currently just sat in the van in a car park in Goodwick, which is just outside Fishguard. Um, not, I've decided I'm not going to stay down on the west anymore and I'm going to drive straight up to North Wales. Uh, I've only got a few days left and I have to go home. Um, so I'm going to go and do something, I think, that possibly two things, but I'm going to go and do something that I missed the last time I was up here that I really wanted to do. And it's dog friendly so I can take Poppy with me. So I'm going to start driving north and I'll definitely catch up with you when I get up there. So I'll see you in a bit. Good morning again. Turns out yesterday was a bit of a bust. So I was heading from uh, Fishguard to Bala Lake. And when I looked into it, part of the reason I was going there is because I wanted to do some stand-up paddleboarding. And it turns out that Bala Lake is another lake we have to pay a launching fee, which wasn't really the main problem. The main problem was they found blue-green algae there again recently. Um, and obviously that's dangerous enough for me. Uh, Poppy's with going to be with me, so didn't want to risk it. So I changed my route and ended up coming up to Lanberis or Clean Padan. And basically when I got here, uh, I had a really, really bad headache yesterday. So I found a park up spot in a, in a lay by not far away. And I had to sleep for a few hours. Uh, woke up around eight o'clock, I think. Uh, spoke to my new neighbors. And then uh, went back to bed. And I've woke up nice and early this morning. So it's just gone eight o'clock. Um, so I'm gonna get the paddle board out in a second. And um, we'll have a nice casual, slow little paddle around the lake. tried paddle boarding before definitely give it a go 
I've just jumped in, I was just really warm. This lake is actually surprisingly warm. Um, I've just gone in just to cool down a bit and practice getting back on the board in deep water and I managed to do it. So yeah, I could stand up, but I mean, I could try it, I suppose. I've been in now, so. Moment of proof that I can stand up on this thing, but uh, I do find it wobbly as hell. Uh, I don't know whether a wider board would help, but whoa, whoa. yeah, it's worse when I'm not moving. I gotta go. Woo, God, this is good fun. Yeah, what a stunning day for it as well. Absolutely gorgeous out here on, uh, in Lamberis today. Bit of cloud in the sky. But when the sun does come out, it's a beautiful view of the Lamberis Pass. Oh, it's absolutely stunning out here. Oh, what time to be alive. Even if the sky is falling down. Right, we're done for now. Uh, we're back at the van. Uh, we're just going to dry off, yeah? Uh, and we're going to move on to the next place. Now, I think I'm going to land Didno, so we'll see you up there. I'm just going to pack this lot away. The board drying up against the van. And, uh, yeah, maybe get a few more drone shots, because there's a hell of a lot of people out on that water right now. Um, I know they said stand-up paddleboard, and it was like one of the fastest growing sports, and they, they actually meant it. It's crazy out there. Um, there's all sorts, all, all ages, all sorts of boards. But it's because it's so fun. So if you haven't tried it, give it a go. And it's brilliant to do with your little dog as well. She hates the water, as you can tell. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's good fun. You know, she'll stay on the board with me. So that's the main thing. Anyway, catch you, catch you in a bit. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down we get up and start from